this is Grim Fandango, the remastered version, of course. Uh, I have never actually played this, so uh, I don't know what I have, what I'm in for. Uh, my click and point adventure games are not that, um, how do you call that, um, experienced, to say the least. Uh, they have never actually quite gotten my interest, but this, all of them, also Monkey Island, I think. Uh, Double Fine makes some very good uh, games, I would say. Uh, I think it's uh, something that you grow with. I think it is, mainly. Anyway, I have since my childhood I had a demo of this one, and I've always thought that this looked very interesting to see. So now that I have bought it, I am going to try and play through it. In this stream, hopefully, if everything goes right, we are going as far as I can. Um, Yes, let's hope this works fine and we can find everything. May the clicks be forever in my favor. Without further ado, let's continue with a new game, shall we? Sorry for the wait, Mr. Flores. I am ready to take you now. Take me? Take me where? Now, now. There's no need to be nervous. Nervous? No. It's just your appearance. It's a little intimidating. Intimidating? Me? But I'm your friend. My name's Manny Calavera. I'm your new travel agent. I don't want a new travel agent. I want to go home. <laughs> you can't go home, Celso. You're dead. But you're not alone. Everybody here is just as dead as you. That's why we call it the Land of the Dead. Are you ready for your big journey? No. What journey? The four-year journey of the soul. It is quite a big trip. And I can't lie to you, Celso. It could be very, very dangerous. Unless you were to take that money you were buried with and buy a better travel package from us. I mean, wouldn't you rather cross the Land of the Dead in your own sports car? Maybe try a luxury ocean cruise? Or, if you led a very good life, you may even be eligible for a ticket on the number nine itself. The number nine? That's our top-of-the-line express train. It shoots straight to the ninth underworld, the land of eternal rest, in four minutes instead of four years. But very few people qualify. Let's take a look at your records. Hmm? Hmm. Well... The bad news is the train appears to be just out of your reach, but I still got a couple of tricks up my sleeve here. Mm-hmm. Yeah ha Yes, that's the ticket. The Excelsior Line. Yes, she's a beauty. That compass and the handle will sure come in handy, too. Oh, you're going to have a great trip. Wish I was going. Why don't you? You could give me a lift. Oh, I can't leave here until I've worked off a little debt to the powers that be. Community service, eh? Well, I guess there are some folks worse off than me. Oh, I'll be leaving here soon enough. No thanks to dead and no commission low-life cases like yours, Menso. Hey, Manny. The boss told me to tell you not to leave early tonight. He wants to talk to you about something when he gets back from his trip. Tell Don not to worry. I'm not going anywhere. Especially not with clients like that. Where do they get these guys? They don't qualify for anything good, so I can't sell anything good. I can't work off my time, and I'm stuck. Stuck selling walking sticks to a bunch of burros for eternity. I need better clients. I need a real saint. I need a lead on a rich, dead saint. Hmm. ¿Qué es esto? Interesting, isn't it? Saints Moon for the Dead. It's some sort of special work order. To all agents from office manager Don Copel. All right, you boneheads! Thank you, lucky stars, and get to your friggin' cars! We have a mass poisoning on our hands! Too many dead to assign specific cases, so all clients are first come, first serve! So let's see some hustle out there! Whatever you say, Hiffy. Whatever you say. 
problems. My computer gives me instant access to our database of deadbeats. Do anything else? Here's Celso's file. That walking stick was too good for him. Nothing in there but my cloak. Eh, I'm gonna let it air out some more. Nothing in... Eh, I'm gonna let it air out some more. Dude. Better take these cards. It looks like a long day of solid... What the hell for me? Okay. I think I'm getting a gist of it. Read them already. Didn't help. Hello. The game does not automatically save. Please save and pause menu to avoid losing progress. Okay then. Can we maybe go faster? Right. Domino's door is locked. Probably scared. Not a bad idea, actually. We can. Good. It's my boss's secretary, Ava. It's my boss's whipping boy, Manny. Buenos dias. Manny, why aren't you at the poisoning? Um. What poisoning? The Code 3 Gazpacho poisoning that everybody's at but you. Why do I send out memos if nobody reads them? Uh, Any messages for me? for me? Besides the one about the poisoning? Yeah. I only have one other message for you, Manny. I'm not your secretary. I don't take your messages. So get it through your thick skull and stop forwarding your phone to me. All right. But that sounded more like four messages to me. <laughs> Otto, you're still my secretary. In my heart, though, you're still my secretary. Manny, what are you talking about? I was never your secretary, even when you were on top. I got one boss, same as you, Don Copel. Come on, I know you work for another man besides Don. Well, well, what are you talking about? I know you take memos for Hurley sometimes. Ah, oh, Manny, just beat it, will ya? Where is everybody? Oh, Manny, did you forget what day it is today? Oh, man, did I come in on Saturday again? It's the Day of the Dead. Everybody's back in the land oh, of the living, it's... visiting their families like we should be. Hmm. Why aren't you visiting your family today? Ah, the boss is here, so I gotta be here. How about you, Cal? No one back there I want to see. And you don't want Domino here alone, getting all the good leads. Domino's here? He's at the poisoning right now, stealing your commission. So, you going to the Christmas party? After the spectacle you made of yourself last year? I wouldn't miss it for the world. <laughs> Any good gossip? Well, I heard Domino got a raise. Por favor, tell me some good news, why don't you? I still love you. You're all I really need, Bellissa. Well, I gotta go hit the bricks. Okay, you show those bricks a lesson. <laughs> so I assume this is Don's room. There are lights for wash, rinse, wax, and land of the living, depending on your destination. <laughs> Good to know. The driver demons operate this somehow, and the company won't tell a salesman how it works. Gotta keep us down somehow. Oh, those diamond culprits. Here's what I need. Wheels. Ooh, I might get hurt if I try to get one down by myself. Think. Maybe that's the one left. Hey, service! Hey, who the? <laughs> oh, <laughs> sorry, sir. I didn't expect sales agents usually don't come over to this part of the garage. Hey, you a driver? Me? <laughs> no, 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 no. I don't ride them. Just wrench them. I'm Calavera. Manny Calavera. My name's Gladys. I don't get many visitors. Hey, I got a message for a Mr. Calavera. Uh, your driver said 
that Mr. Hurley said that he could have the rest of the day off. Domino sent my driver home? <laughs> yeah, wasn't that nice? Gladys? Gladys? Is that a German name? Oh, no. My roots lie not in any earthly nation's soil. I am an elemental spirit summoned up from the land of the dead itself and given one purpose, one skill, one desire... to drive! Or to change oil and adjust timing belts if no driving jobs are open. Looks like I need a new driver. Oh! I, uh, I, uh, I would agree with that. Yes, you do. You want to be my replacement driver? Me? Oh, oh, no. Sorry. Can't. Rules. <laughs> Come, on. Come on, Gladys. I need you to be my driver. No, I can't. I'm... I'm... I'm too big. Aww. You're not too big, it's just right. We just have a self-image problem. The car's just too small. If you're gonna be the car's... You're not too big. The cars are just too small. Yeah, those dang compact cars. Hey, that gives me an idea. I could alter your car just a bit with just a quick torch job to let out the seams, you know? I'll... But I'm not allowed to modify the cars without a work order from upstairs. I could lose my job. A work order, huh? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I can't torch anything bigger than a cigarette without one of these signed by the boss himself. Hey, hey, hey. that's my line. Getting people to sign. Back in a snap. Yeah, too small. I'm not too big. Everything around here is just too small. It's definitely the case. <laughs> so I gotta get this work order signed. I'll get that. I assume I have to get to talk to the boss. Click it, click, 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 click. Mind if I use your hole punch? Knock yourself out. <laughs> well, that was Thanks. Thing. Gets the aggressions out, doesn't it? <laughs> oh. Oh, yes. <laughs> okay, then. Eva, I really need the boss to sign this Eva, I really need the boss to sign this work order. I'll give it a shot. <laughs> Mr. Copel, I've got Manny Calavera out here to see you. Didn't I say... No interruptions today? Eh, sorry, Kel. Maybe tomorrow. That's too late. Oh, yeah, like you're going anywhere. <laughs> True. True. Uh, I, so I can't find my driver. I can't find my driver. Manny, do I have to explain your job to you again? Yes. yes. Well, the Manuel Calavera that I know picks up people in the land of the living. Dead people? Preferably. And he brings them here and tries valiantly to sell them the best travel package they qualify for. If he sells them enough premium packages, our hero will be free to leave the land of the dead. Until then, he and I are stuck here having the same conversation over and over again for eternity. Hmm, interesting. I don't know about me, what's your job like? Why don't we just skip town tonight? Why do some clients go for the trials? Well, I gotta go hit the bricks. This doesn't lead me to my goal, does it? What about this elevator? What can you lead me to? The foyer. I'm not walking on the freeway. I shouldn't even be standing here. Excuse me, I'm most sorry about that. I know it's not what I'm supposed to do, but let's see what it is. 
Hey, what's going down, clown? Hey, back off, suit. I'm practicing. Practicing what? Wringing your neck. What does it look like? Wow. <laughs> Twist me up one of them, huh, fella? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Twist this, all right? Bet you can't do a cat. Shows what you know, buddy. I can do anything. I can do birds, amphibians, famous poets. Go ahead. Name one. Rubber Frost. Trying to stump me, eh? Ta-da! Well, <laughs> the Since I really didn't get to celebrate the festival this year, I think I'm entitled to a little pan de muertos. I get crumbs all over. They just pull up party favors, and I'm not in the party mood. Can we use that room? Or whatever that is. Memo from the desk of Don Copal. Hey, work orders are assigned by my office and are not exchangeable among salesmen. Swapping, selling, and especially stealing work orders will result in severe disciplinary action. <laughs> Interesting. This place is a mess. You tell me. Just thinking about Don's file system gives me a cold chill. I would love to search Don's office right now, but I'm late for the poisoning. Okay. I would love to search Don's office right now, but I'm... It looks like Don's rigged his computer to automatically answer his intercom. Hmm. Oh, I didn't see no disruptions today. Okay. Uh, I'll have to wait on a little very important meaning, whatever it is. I'll have to wait. Ah, oh, cripes, Ava, just sign it yourself. I'll just change his auto response here. Ah, oh, cripes, Ava, just sign it yourself, will you? I'm busy! Seems to work. By the way, can we uh, get out of here? Anything you can't right? Uh, I'm just gonna check that again, that's not so this place is a mess. Well, let's get out then. Talk with Ava, our little dog. But me, thank you. I just need to talk with Ava again, I suppose. to sign this work order. I'll give it a shot. Mr. Copel, Mr. Calavera has something out here that he says he needs your signature on. Ah, oh, great, Ava. Just sign it yourself, will you? I'm busy. You'll have to excuse him, Manny. It's probably a really hard crosswood puzzle he's got in there today. Eva, I mean. Rest. I had no idea you had this kind of power. Well, we all have our secrets.
They say black is slimming. I'm driving, yeah! I'm driving! <laughs> Por favor. I could have walked faster than this. Ah, híjole, I'm gonna miss the poisoning. Disturbing, I gotta say. It's the fear of death that makes monsters of us all. Look at these poor saps. What are we can't, yes. Smiles wow. as bright and wide as the blade on my scythe. <laughs> what? Scaring the living is technically against the rules, but we all do it. <laughs> If I scare them to death, then they'll become a customer. But I'll get nailed with a conflict of interest rap. Mm. Bound okay. only by the paper-thin wrapper of mortality, a soul here lies, struggling to be free. And so it shall, thanks to a bowl of bad gazpacho and a man named Calavera. I can't carry the whole... He's got to shuffle off his mortal coil. Then we can split. I can't use my bare hands. I'm a professional. Well, do we have a... yes, exactly. Can you use that? Nice bathroom! several travel package upgrades if you'd care to cut the yeah I want something cheap where I can get some rest and that's it ay 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 you know Manny I could make this car a little faster if you wanted yeah yeah whatever oh yeah slam the front into the weeds tub the rear end do blowers pop it out of the hood <laughs> You'll get plenty of rest this way, Mr. Martinez, and you'll be safely padded by the foam created when these two chemicals mix like this. Oh, on second thought, I, I want to upgrade my package. Sorry, Bruno, but you didn't qualify for anything better. But here, have this complimentary mug. No, wait! Uh, can't you find me something where I can move my legs? You know I'd like to, Bruno, but my boss is a real hard ass. I gotta be a hard ass when I got lazy sickle waivers like this jolly boy working for me. Manny, you couldn't find a sale at a yacht club. I got a sale right here. I'm talking premium sales, Calavera. Like the kind Domino makes. How am I supposed to make premium sales with the scumbag clients you're sending me? Hey! Now you're blaming the clients? I've had it with you, Manny. If you haven't bagged a premium before the next sales report comes in, you're out! Out on the street, no job, no way to work off your time. Just your fancy suit and your big smile and a whole lot of time to kill. Who you calling a scumbag? Why, well, I ought to... <sighs> I'm sick of waiting around for a good lead. Like it's gonna fly in here tied to a brick. It's time to take one. What can we do with that now? Hey, you missed a great poisoning. Yeah, and you missed a great client. Domino came back from there with a nun. Híjole, I got a tiny little man with a mean temper and no commission. Well, at least you don't work for one. 
You know, Copal's not really in his office. Sweetheart, I know what you're up to. Huh? You're trying to get me away from my desk so you can link all my paper clips together again. Grow up, darling. <laughs> Just one more question about Just job. one more question about my job. Mm -hmm. What's your job like? Uh, what if we skip town tonight? What if we just skip town tonight? You and me, baby. Well, thanks for the offer, but we'd never make it out of the city alive. But... In one piece, I mean. I bet I could get you out if I really tried. Oh, Manny, look at you. You're a trapped soul and you don't even know it. Mm -hmm. So what... What did you do in life to get stuck here? So what here? did you do in life to get stuck here? What I did back in the fat days is none of your business. You know the rules. Mm. Why do some clients qualify for better travel. travel packages? They led good lives. Good tries. How do you define a good life? Better than yours and mine. Well, enough about me. What's your job like? Like babysitting. Except I don't get to watch TV. <laughs> Busy as ever, I see. I'd have more work to do if you had more clients. Ouch. Just one more question about my job. Manny, you know what to do. Stop playing dumb just to flirt with me. Manny, if you don't mind, I've got a lot of filing here to do. Right. I do watch you. Whatever. Big Mr. Boss Man doesn't want to be disturbed today. Well, at least you're not hitting the bottle anymore. Hey, <laughs> Kelly, how you doing? So, how'd you make out of the poisoning? Well, let's just say that Sister Calabaza has a secret passion. For trains. You got a nun? <laughs> Hail Mary. And you sold her a ticket on the number nine train. Choo-choo, little buddy. Say, how'd you score? <laughs> I got, I two, got nuns, two nuns, actually. Hey, that reminds me of this really funny <laughs> joke. Heard it. Mm. I want to tell you something. Good. Go on and let it all out, Manny. There's no reason for you to be afraid of me. I think we should team up. Be partners. Oh, Manny, I, I would, but I'm... Too intimidated. I could <laughs> never be partners with someone who was so much more of a man than me. Oh, come on. I've seen your wife. <laughs> I think you're up to something. I think that's a little lecture. You know, this used to be my office. Yeah, I know. I found your name on some comic books in the desk. <laughs> I want my office back. Don't worry. You'll have years and years to enjoy it after I get promoted out and... You're still here. <laughs> okay, that's the end of that lecture. Well, thank you for those words of wisdom. I think I'm a bit of chill compared to this being uh, like a lecture or something. <laughs> but just tell you, I want to ask you a question. I want to ask you a question. Shoot, slugger. Is it hard to kiss up to the boss so much with no lips? <laughs> Can I have uh, one of your clients? Sure. Get all the good Why do you get all the good clients? You're asking the wrong guy. You should be taking a good long look at the man in the mirror. No thanks. I don't enjoy that the same way you do. Mm. Can I have one of your clients? Sure, Cal. Just as soon as I get one I think you could handle. I can handle anything you got. Especially if that's your best right jab. What did you do to get this job? You mean, what's my secret to success? No, I mean, how did you screw up and get stuck here at the DOD? What sin did you commit, and how long are you going to have to work here to pay it off? Well, I could easily ask the same question of you. But I don't know the answer. I still don't know what I've done. Well, how convenient. Then, uh, neither do I. Is it hard to kiss up to the boss so much when you got no lips? Hey, I got all the lip I need. I get it from you. <laughs> Well, see you in limbo. Oh, that's great. We should do this more often. Mm. So I guess we're supposed to get him away somehow. Can I get him this somehow? My computer gives me instant access to our database of deadbeats. I should close Bruno's record before the black mark burn into my screen. 
can you do that? Not portable. Can we take something from there? Not picking that up. Opening Nothing it? Nothing in there but my... Eh, I'm gonna let it air out some more. So what do we have on us? I suppose this is... My scythe. I like to keep it next to where my heart used to be. This deck of cards is a little frayed around the edges. Then again, so am I. And I've got fewer suits. This doesn't look anything like Robert Frost. The bread of the dead. My scythe. I like to keep it. We snoop around. That's some premium looking scotch. Have some, Manny. Just so you don't forget what premium tastes like. <laughs> sure. Why not? How does he drink? <laughs> Ow. Oh. Oh, but he can't pick it up. Oh. I had to. I think Don would call the company shrink if I left through the window. No messages in Dom's fancy red tube. Hey, Dom. What's your screensaver password? Get away from my computer, Manny. Hey, Dom. Get away. Hey, Dom. Get away from. Hmm. Hey, girl. Yeah. I want to punch you in the mouth. Oh, no, not the Christmas party all over again. Hmm, what happened at the Christmas party? Blacked out on the whole thing, huh? Maybe you should switch to lemonade, kid. Maybe I should. Maybe I shouldn't. I've got something else to tell you. Let's have it. I think, I think you're up to something. Yeah, I'm up to about four premium sales this week. <laughs> Well, you sound pretty out of breath, so I'm gonna blow. Always a pleasure, Cal. Let's know how lot this is. It's not like she can be on any help. Manny, if you don't mind. Right. I do watch okay, you. Fine. Let's see. Let's... He got something up. About upgrading the car, was he? It's locked. This oh, sign says, locked. I'm at the junkyard. <laughs> <laughs> it's locked. Nope, I'm doing it there. Lobby again then, more outside here. God, he's so much as well. I'll never get out of this place. <sighs> you and your fancy suits and your nose holes way up in the air, sticking your empty beer bottles down the message tubes. How fancy is that? Huh? Don't you boys upstairs realize the tube switcher is a sophisticated and delicate piece of machinery? Huh? You think you're better than me? No. Good. What's that? That red tube looks familiar. Very familiar one, dude. Can we get in here? That wheelchair opening. The wheel won't turn and the door won't budge. Warning. Fire system. Do not touch. Well, let's touch that. That's not on fire. Isn't that? 
That's not on fire. So something is be on fire. Or That's not on fire. One of the chemicals for our packing material comes out of there. One of the chemicals for our packing material comes out of there. For those who enjoy no hassle travel. Bruno, you in one of these? Must have picked them up already. Don't like have anything that can use in that branch. How about the outside? Later. It's the sophisticated and delicate hub of all communications here in the Department of Death. I want I send a message. If it's so delicate. Is that horrible squeaking noise you're making? New shoes. <laughs> My message tube is full of nothing, as usual. So let's open that. It's a deflated balloon. Should we use that? That's not what balloons are for. Really? You would have surprised me. It's a squeaky little kitty. Nope. Let's see, let's see. what is a fire extinguisher? That's not on fire. That's not on fire. I know, I know. Not that. The bread, maybe? The bread of the dead. A very delicate and sophisticated machine. <laughs> Look out below. Progress. I think. Later. Let's get our dead worm. I am pretty sure that these two has been mixed with each other. No use for it. You don't really want to do that. I don't really want to do that. I'm sure, but let's try it. I don't really want to do that. Okay. Fine and fine. Don't. Let's see. Put this in. Now it is. So the other one. Mm -hmm. 
much, much, much later. Anything more? So there's that dark chemical everywhere in there. There's that dark chemical everywhere in there. Not picking that up. There's that dark chemical everywhere in there. There's these dead ends everywhere. Wish you. Get you down there. Because if it's food everywhere, it should be mixing with each other when it's two opposite, right? Sounds so good. So I had it right all this time long. Servers down again. What else is new? Oh dear. I think that's the most frustrating about this game is that you know you got it right, just need to put it in the right order in order to make it work. That's kind of annoying. Hi, I'm not getting any messages. Is the server down? This is their idea of a joke? They think it's funny? I'd like to jam their tubes with packing material. See how they like that? So you're saying the server is down, is that it? The server is not down. It's never down. It's just temporarily unavailable while I'm doing some maintenance, that's all. So how long is it gonna be down? With a job like this, you can never tell. Probably hours. Or until no one's around to see you sneak out, eh? Whichever comes first. Can I squeeze in there, just for a sec? Are you kidding? This is a highly secured area. No one's allowed in here who ain't me. What's so special about you? I, sir, am an elemental spirit, summoned from the land of the dead itself. Yeah, yeah, let me guess. You were given one purpose, one skill, one desire. Fixing pneumatic tube switchers. No, I was created to run the elevators, but they put in those dang motion detectors and put me out of work. <laughs> Who would, do, Who would like do a terrible thing like this? It's those punks in the mailroom. They think this baby is going to put them out of a job, and they're right. You know, I really think it's clean enough. Oh, it's clean enough to run all right. I'm just fiddling around to be safe. You know, gotta cover my ass. Yes, you do. <laughs> Just curious, how'd you get in there? I squeezed down one of these tubes like a pixie. How do you <laughs> think I got in here? Through the door, just like you. Say, uh, chatty Kathy. I got a lot of tubes to flush here. Hey, me too. I'll let you go. Not again! Ah, 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 ah. You tried to blow this joint sky high? That's a magnesium compound fire extinguisher! Spray that on this packing foam and we'll both be riding the giant Roman candle out of here! What? Why would they put something so dangerous in here? I guess they didn't expect this room to be full of hazardous waste! Hey, I'm still not getting. I'm giving you. The switcher looks pretty gunked up. Good 
good enough for government work. Okay. So now I'm gonna get some balloons again. There. Oh, but something has to be put right there. Hey, I'm still not. I'm giving you one. I can't leave. The wheel won't budge. I've just locked an open door. Strange, yet symbolically compelling. Uh, with that, then make sure that he. Learning. That feels good to be right. Let's get in there now. Stories to dying children. That's good. That's really good. I think you're it, Mercedes Colomar. I think you're the one for me. Gladys, are you loco? What got into you? <laughs> it was a company car. Oh, yeah. And it's even better company now. I'm in. You're not the nurse? No. You're not here to give me my medication? No, but I am here to ease your pain. Guess they couldn't save me, huh? No, but there's still a chance you could save me. That's a lot of responsibility, Mr. Calaveda. What makes you think I've been all that good? Miss Colomar. Meche, please. Meche. I can see it in your face and in your file here, where it says you're entitled to a first-class ticket to... Nowhere? What? Did I do something wrong? Not according to your bio. It was spotless. At least the part I read was. I'm not sure I like the implication, Mr. Calavera. Hmm. I'm the only implication is that I'm fired. Are you sure you are? Are you sure you're Mercedes Colomar? Yes. Would you like to see my birthmark? Sure. Where is it? It's wherever you guys put my skin. <laughs> Anything about your past you haven't told me? Quite a bit, considering I've told you nothing. <laughs> Did you kill much when you were alive? Very little. Were you a big shoplifter? Well, they accused me of it once. Really? But it wasn't my fault. That puppy followed me out of the store. Oh. Ever cheated on your taxes? I've never paid taxes in my life. Aha. Uh -huh. I've never made enough money to be taxed. You know, it's mostly been our volunteer work. Uh huh. <laughs> um. Mean to animals? Oh, no. I love animals. Once, when I was volunteering at an animal shelter, I. Just stop right there. 
ever cheated on your husband. Mr. Calavera, there's no ring on my finger. There's no skin on it either. I guess you'll just have to trust me then. Work with me, Meche. Give me some dirt. Well, I could do something bad right now if that would help. Wouldn't count. Sorry. Litter? Oh, Manny, is that the best you can do? Never killed anybody? I have to confess, I never killed anybody. Not even a teensy bit of killing? Maybe I just wasn't trying hard enough. <laughs> I give up. Don't say that, Manny. Excuse me, but I have to go straighten this mess out. Sorry to be so much trouble, Mr. Calavera. It's no trouble, but please, call me Manny. So comfortable. I'm think. still in the case, Mitchie, but I haven't found anything for you yet. Maybe I'm not the woman you were hoping for. Not at the moment. I just don't understand it. Why can't I find anything good for Mitchie? I'm sorry I let you down, Manny. Right. Hey, funny bones! In my office! Now! You vandalized company property in order to obtain secret information so you could take your illegally modified company car and your unregistered driver and run Domino here off the road! All in order to steal a client from her legitimate agent! There's nothing legitimate about this place. You give all the good clients to Domino. Manny, <laughs> now I'm embarrassed for you. You've embarrassed the whole office. I'm going to call the woman in here so you can apologize to her yourself. Ava, send in Ms. Colomar, please. She left about 15 minutes ago, sir. She said she had a long walk ahead of her and she wanted to get started. Walking? She had a ticket on the number nine. Why does she think she has to walk? That's the best package I could find for her. <laughs> now you see why I give all the good clients the domino. That woman was a saint and a shoe in for a double end ticket that she's not going to get because you just couldn't find it. And now, because of your little stunt, she's out there on her own, walking by herself through the petrified forest, facing the demons of the underworld alone and unprotected. This is her reward after a lifetime of hardship and public service. Her destiny stolen by some overreaching salesman looking for a fat commission he didn't deserve. Get in there and stay put until the boys downtown tell us what they want done with you. Someone's gonna take the fall for this, Calavera, and it ain't gonna be me! Oh well. Huh. Ooh, ick. It came out like soft serve ice cream, but judging by the smell, I think it's auto body filler. Anybody out there? So, Manuel, have you thought about what you have done? Who's out there? I'm you, or rather, I was you years ago. Yeah, well, I'm me now, so get lost. <laughs> get me out of here. The only way out, Manuel, is to be taken back in. If you are truly still loyal to this company, declare it loudly. The management might hear and stick you right back in their fold. Look, I did what I had to do. So what? You have to try harder than that, Manuel. A man's loyalties decide his destiny. The DOD runs a crooked game, and I intend to prove it. You would do that? That could cause this agency a lot of trouble. I'm gonna blow the lid off this place. Young man, you are an enemy of the Department of Death. Welcome to the club. Salvador Limones and guest. Where are you taking me? To the headquarters of the LSA. LSA? The Lost Souls Alliance. We're a small group, Manuel. We're always looking for new soldiers. To do what exactly? We need help in our intelligence unit. You know Eva, of course. 
Manny. I was once a reaper like yourself, Manuel. But I uncovered a web of corruption in our beloved Department of Death. I have reason to believe that the Bureau of Acquisitions is cheating the very souls it was chartered to serve. I think someone is robbing these poor, naive souls of their rightful destinies, leaving them no option but to march on a treacherous trail of tears, unprotected and alone. Like babies, Manuel. Like babies. What's your evidence? That's where you come in, Manuel. Or should I call you Agent Calavera? Manny suits me fine. I'm not looking to join any military organization, Sal. I just want my job back so I can work off my time and get out of this dump. Well, you won't even be able to get out of this city without my help. Which means, of course, you won't be able to find that woman and you'll never get your job back. When you're ready to join the cause, Manuel, come talk to me. We might be of some use to each other. This is gonna be interesting now. Uh, I'm a whole conspiracy. Hmm. It's a slide projector. It's a slide projector. Can we, can we, can we? Manuel, I was looking at that. Sorry. I don't get it. Nor do I, Manuel. Not yet. I'd put on a hand shadow show, but the mood just doesn't feel right. I don't get it. Nor do I. So you're not really a secretary. I'm a spy, Manny. Well, that's the last time we use that temp agency. Any messages for me? Yes. Join or die. But I'm already... Again! <laughs> Doesn't Kapal wonder where you are? Don and Domino are both locked up in Don's office with some bigwig from downtown. Some fatty in a fez. Hmm. Who is the fat man, I wonder? And how does he fit into this sinister puzzle? How long have you been a spy? Salvador recruited me about a year ago. I couldn't resist him. He's just so noble. Right. What are you working on there? I'm trying to get this radio working so we can use it in the field. But it looks pretty hopeless. Salvador's right. We need good old-fashioned homing pigeons to communicate with our field agents. You have field <laughs> agents? No, it's just Sal and me right now. But someday, Manny. Someday. Eva, you gotta get me out of town. They're gonna sprout me. You can't leave, Manny. We need access to the DOD computer network if we're ever gonna find out what's going on. And we can't access without a salesman like you. The computer IDs you when you log on. How does it do that? Fingerprints? I don't have any. Your teeth, Manny. Haven't you ever noticed your computer scanning your teeth when you log on? I thought that was just a power search. We need your teeth, Manny. We can't let you go. Sorry. So? You won't help me out of here. Sorry. I'll help you out, but not your teeth. Think it over. Hmm. Interesting. Okay, I'm in. I'm in. What do I have to do? I'm going to build an underground army of souls to fight the injustice I have seen in El Marro. Communication will become vital as the Lost Souls Alliance spreads out. We'll need messengers we can trust. Do you know something I don't know? Have you ever wondered why your clients, even your best clients, never seem to qualify for the packages you know they deserve? Yes. My last client in particular, Mechi. Well, they all did qualify, Manuel. Especially her. But somehow, somebody with access to the files has stolen their just rewards. Their sweet hereafters. Their tickets on the number nine? Precisamente, amigo. Tickets. What would they do with the tickets? A ticket on the number nine is like a leaf of gold, Manuel. Especially to one who has died with a less than perfect record. Someone is profiting here from those that would buy their way into heaven. That's but money's not important here. We all just want out. You want to get out, Manuel. And so do I someday. But for some people, this world is all there is. They have decided to seek pleasure and happiness here in the eighth underworld. And for that, you need money. You want me to be your messenger? You want me to be your messenger? No, Manuel. Our numbers are small and our agents are too valuable to risk that sort of work. History shows only one messenger to be of use to a cause like ours. Carry your pigeons. If I grab some pigeons off the roof, will you let me go? No. I need to raise them from birth, Agent Calavera. I need you to bring me their eggs. 
You're keeping me here because you need the eggs? Why are you still here, Calavera? Go get me an Air Force before it hatches. Now that's all the briefing you need, soldier. Viva la revolución! Viva la revolución. Where does this go? To a secret tunnel out of the city. But it opens for members of the LSA only. Jones! And there are pictures on the roof. And if they work as living pigeons, we should have red flags. Where we go? I know we don't. I know where to get one. I have to get onto the roof. I'll just take a little more bread to honor the dead. Can we get something new from the bag? I have to you. Okay. So we have to get another roof. Get some pigeons. Hmm, Dom's office is empty. Uh -huh. Aha, <laughs> there's nobody in Domino's office. Try to guess his password. Nope, it's not Golden Boy. He's got a lock on it. I can't believe he doesn't trust me. Yes. What the? There's something glowing in there. It looks like a glowing hunk of coral. A what now? Glowing book. Oh. Congratulations, Domino, on your new job. Hector. Statue. Or trophy sauce. What a jock. I can't go strolling through the halls now. I'm on the lamb. I'm gonna try to guess his password. And if you come to cool boy. And it's not Mr. D either. What am I getting? So much for Dami. <laughs> the drapes are drawn. Dom and Dom must still be in there. How am I then going to get over there? It's the loose end of the rope made of ties. It's pretty long, though. Loose end. Yes. Yes, 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 yes. See? And then use this one. Combination with that to make a hook. And I wonder if this. that's how Domino meant it to be used. I don't think so. Pull this over there. Oh, perfect. So, let's just get up there. Hmm. Okay. So far, 
Oh, so good. Obviously, like this dish vent. Maybe that will scare them eventually. Never get uh, red again. And it pops, and then we scare them away. I say, and it takes a long way around. I just take a little more bread to honor the dead. Add it. little ledge pickers let's get those eggs you must come with me young ones for I am the green reaper man are those pigeons gonna be ticked man are those pigeons gonna be ticked only two it might be a little bit of this it's just me but we have enough for it. At least two is more than one, right? None.
So now we interact with that, I suppose. Agent Calavera and two guests. <laughs> Check these babies out. Excellent, Manuel. With these, I can breed an entire army of winged messengers. Our revolution can spread now across the land, carried on the shimmering wings of justice, thanks to you, Agent Calavera. I myself would also like to spread across the land. But you can't. We need your dental work here to access the computer. I am sorry, but freedom has its price. This computer shut off. We salvaged that unit when the company threw it away, but we have yet to get it working. When we do, we'll need you to get us into the system. I'll be long gone before then. We'll see, Manuel. This computer shut off. Why won't you help me out? I need your teeth, remember? Why won't... I need your... Look, you got the eggs you wanted. Now can I go? Sorry, but your teeth. Viva la revolución! Hmm. Teeth, teeth, teeth. How can we... Make a look at your teeth? Hmm. I have absolutely no idea about that. Hey, what did they do with Gladys? Oh, I got a question, actually. Yeah. Ooh, ick. It came out like soft serve ice cream, but judging by the smell, I think it's auto body filler. Auto body filler. Do you have a balloon in that? I'm not even sure I'm gonna use a balloon for that, but uh, nevertheless. Can we use the elevator to get back on? I'm not going upstairs. I want him to think I'm still locked in the shop. Oh, yeah, that's right. I'm not. They still think I'm locked up. Hopefully. So the only way is to get up there somehow, right? I can't go all the way onto my own office. in there. Harrigan fraud doesn't work. <laughs> Don't have any items. So you can't get kind of through in the hallway either. Not this place. Well, let's try getting up the balloon. Let's get down there in the garage. And get something for Let's get this point here. Let's grease me. Come on. There we go. It seems to be the only thing we can do. Kid uh, wants another balloon animal. Ah, uh, jeez, what now? I would very much like um, 
Look, do you have any more dead worms back there? Look, if I give you any more of those, you'd be able to go in the business for yourself. So forget it. So we're not going to use that. I'm going to use this. This card there. That's okay. okay. What was that? Ooh, for? ick. It came out like soft serve ice cream. But judging by the smell, I think it's auto body filler. Auto body filler. It's locked. Surprisingly. It's locked. I got this one. Get hurt if I try to get one down by myself. And we won't do that. It's down there, we didn't get any new information. Let's see that balloon guy. I just take a little more bread to honor the dead. My kid. Uh, I have another. Did you lose the one? I no. Well then, just enjoy. Can I have it? Did you lose? No. Well then, do you have any? Look. So. F hmm. scarier going down. Just a couple of crumbs and shreds of latex. I prefer to eat out of clean dishes that aren't nailed to the roof. Hmm. So nothing of interest up here. Teeth, teeth, teeth. What do we have on the side of the teeth? Aha! Uh -huh. There's nobody in Domino's office. Perfect. Mouth guard. 
Ugh, Domino had this in his mouth. Ugh, well, now I know what Domino tastes like. <laughs> Interesting. I wonder if we need to use that autofill of thing. Some strip if it's Bill, yeah, Bill. That's just a cast. But we still need to get our imprint done on that. Domino's mouthpiece. Why am I carrying this around? Fill a dent. Good for dents, great for dentures. Wow, that made a perfect impression of my teeth and left quite a chalky aftertaste, too. Just it, or yep, a perfect fit. There's nothing else we can do, right? It's got a perfect plaster cast of my teeth in it. So now they have it. Got a cast first. Have anything to fill in? No, don't. I was per se, it seems like, at least. Well, let's try that autofill again, shall we? I have a feeling that it's, it's needed. Not sure. Use that on this. It's already full of that stuff. Okay, fine. So that's not the case. I just need to get it filled. Filled with what? Agent Calavera here. sure what to make of that. Why don't you show it to my intelligence officer? Manny, this looks like a perfect impression of your teeth. We can use this as a mold to make a fake set of teeth and get into the computer system that way. Good work, soldier. You are a friend of the revolution, Agent Calavera. And now, let me be of service to you. You must go to the town of Rubacaba, my friend. You want to find your lost soul. How do you know where she is? I don't. But everyone who wants to get to the Ninth Underworld must cross the Sea of Lament. And therefore must go to Rubacaba to get passage on a ship. As long as you get there before she does, you'll find her. But it may be quite a wait. I'll wait as long as it takes. Manuel, are you in love with her? Love? Love is for the living, Sal. I'm only after her for one reason. She's my ticket out of here. That was some tunnel. I'm all the way to the edge of the petrified forest. And I think this will be it for now at least. An interesting game, I would say. I've... Uh, I didn't think of it had this into it. I actually didn't know what I was expecting. So yeah, this is very interesting indeed. An undercover something is going on and things are mysteriously wrong in this world. And the dead. 
it is interesting, I would say. This sparked my interest at least. So, uh, for anyone who's watching this, uh, thank you so much for watching, and hopefully I'll see you in another one. Bye for now.